Oh, today I didn't do it. Oh, weird. Good evening, everybody. I hopped on a couple minutes early so I could try and figure something out on uh, my live, and then it didn't do it today. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Hi, Aaron. The last time I went on, I couldn't see the comments or I couldn't see what I was doing. So, but this time, so I thought I'd go on early to try and figure it out. Now it's uh, fine. So I don't know what. I must have hit something last time. I don't know. <laughs> what? Uh, well, you know. One of those things. Hi, Colleen. Welcome, everybody. Hi, Barb. Hi, Judy. So I was supposed to have a special guest with me tonight. Um... But she's too tired. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Chantel. Hi from Ottawa. Chantel from Ottawa. Awesome. Is it nice up there or is it still cold? Hi, Linda and Shelly. Welcome, everybody. It's good to see you guys. Um, at, like I was saying, I was supposed to have a special guest tonight. Uh, my daughter has come up for a visit. And uh, she was going to be here, but then they, um, they're pretty tired after that long drive. They... They drove up from Columbus, Ohio, so it's pouring rain here too, Chantel. Hi, Michelle. Yeah, so we're all getting rain, I guess. So anyway, she uh, they went to have a nap, so <laughs> so they're um, she's not able to to attend with me, but oh well. So she tried, but uh, she was way too tired. And plus, they're both uh, nurses, and they both work the night shift so to try and switch to days and nights it's hard on them so <laughs> hey Karina I know right I tried but uh, I hate waking them up but oh well what are you gonna do okay so tonight what I'm doing is I'm going to put together my my uh, folio that I created um, this is with the trifold waterfall folio album from graphic 45 I really like this this album it's awesome it's got um, waterfalls in it it's got pocket page um, and it has the magnets already in it Hi, Carolyn. Oh, my guest isn't here tonight, Carolyn. Um, I just said she was going, it's my daughter, and she was going to uh, attend, but after the long drive, uh, they uh, they went for a nap instead. So, they'll probably nap until probably 3 in the morning, and then they'll be awake. <laughs> so, if you want to join me at 3 in the morning, no, I'm, I'm not going to be awake at 3 in the morning. Anyway. This folio is awesome. It has magnets in it, and they're super, super strong. Like, you can hear that. Like, it's awesome. Um, this one, it's got a pocket here, and in the middle, it's got a pocket page. This is a top folding pocket. And then it's got, um, these have magnets. And the magnets that are in here are so, super strong. Hi, Heather. So super strong that... Um, even with paper on top of it, it still holds it really, 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 really tight, which is awesome. And like you can see um, the magnet there, but we'll cover it up with paper and it'll still hold. So it's got this type of waterfall and then it's got this type of waterfall, the side waterfall. And, whoops, forgot to put this one down. So I really like this this folio. It's really awesome. I think they run about twenty dollars or twenty one dollars or something. Um, hi Linda. Uh, hi Barb. I think also um, it comes in. I don't know if we have any in the store, but I know it comes in a cream color and black. So this one is the craft, uh, the craft one. So. Um, we'll get started. So I've cut all my pieces already. 
I didn't want to bore you guys watching me cut the, everything. Um, and I used the Wild and Free um, paper from Graphic 45. So this is the 8x8 um, paper, and it's $17.89, it looks like. No, that's that's the folio, I think. Yeah, because the 8x8 wouldn't be $17.89, I don't think. But maybe it would be. I think this bag is the folio bag. But this is all the paper I have left over. I used, like, so much of it. I even used the, um, oh, what do you call it? The front piece. Like, the, um, the, in, the front piece that tells you what kind of paper it is. <laughs> I even used that, the cardboard piece. Lots of fun. Hi, Yvonne. Yeah, those folders are great. Okay, so let's get started. So because, like, the folio is, it's 7.5 by 7.5 by 1.25. So it's 7.5 square, and then it's 1.25 inches wide. Um, you don't have to cut a lot of your paper off, which is awesome, because then you get to see a lot of a lot of the um, the paper because this paper is so nice I'm going to just mm. so this is this is this page is probably this paper is probably my favorite paper so what I did was I actually fussy cut people you know how much I love fussy cutting I hate it um, <laughs> But I did a lot of fussy cutting with this one because all I used for this folio was the folio and the pad of paper. That is it. Um, I didn't use any ephemera. I didn't use any ribbons or bling or anything. But you could definitely um, use bling or whatever if you want or ribbon. But I didn't use it. Exactly, Heather. Exactly. It's definitely worth the price. If I believe it was. So what I did was I cut this down to seven, seven and I think, what did I cut this down to? Seven and one eighth by seven and one eighth, just so I had a little bit of a border around. Now, if you wanted to also, I didn't, but if you wanted to, you could sponge around the edges of the whole folio. Um, I didn't want to. Instead, I sponged around the edges of my cardstock, of my paper. And what I used was a vintage photo by Tim Holtz. That's my favorite go-to for, for vintage -y kind of stuff, is that one. So I cut this to seven and a half, uh, seven and an eighth by seven and an eighth for my front. And that's the back side. Like, look at that little leopard print. So cool. Oh, thanks, Heather. Heather posted the link to the folio. There are a few kits left with full instructions. Um, I also posted the, the link uh, when this one goes live, or like when I post my video, we'll also post that link in there as well. I'm gonna glue that on. So then I took another one of these sheets because I believe you get three of each sheet in, um, in the paper pack Let me just look three sheets of eight eight by eight double-sided papers which is awesome because then you can use them for whatever right you can use the front side you can use the back side and you can use the one so then what I did was I took another one and I fussy cut all these animals out so I fussy cut all my animals and the flowers and they stuck together and I'm going to use pop dots and I'm going to pop them up so I cut all I fussy cut fussy cut all of these guys out can you believe that ladies how awesome how proud are you of me <laughs> oh you've done two of the white rectangle ones oh yeah like there's such good quality like it's just I don't know Unbelievable. Okay, so I fussy cut all my little dudes out. The only thing I didn't fussy cut out was these ones here. But that's okay because I want my um, giraffe to go over there. And I didn't really want to pop 
draw attention to those. I wanted to draw attention to the animals and the flowers. And then there's also a sheet in the paper pack that has a bunch of cut aparts. So I'll show you what the one that's left over. So um, I cut out a bunch of these things and this is from the Wild and Free at the bottom. So I'm going to just put this along the bottom of the folio. Oops, I'm going off the page, sorry. Thanks, thanks, uh, Karina. Yeah, I um, I sat in front of the TV and cut those out, so that helped. So I'm just going to put this along the bottom. And this album would be awesome if you were eight, like had the ability to go on a safari in Africa, or if you went on the safari in... Um, I keep pushing this up, sorry. You went on the safari that's in Hamilton, uh, the Lion African Safari that's there, or if you go to the zoo, it'd be good for that, um, for yourselves, or if you have grandkids, you can take your grandkids, or if you have those pictures in a box from when your kids were little, like I do, they'd be perfect in here. So I'm going to add my little my little guys on and I put pop dots on the back and I just going to add them on just to give it some dimension because like I said all I used was the paper and the binder or the folio for this one I should have had most of these put on you guys are gonna watch me and be like oh my god that's so boring or if your family's a bunch of animals, yes. <laughs> yeah, that would work too. Um, like, aren't these beautiful? Like, oh my God. So when I first got this paper, I was like, oh, I like it. But it's like, what would I do with it? Like, Rah. but then I started working with it. And, uh, and Graphic 45 kind of scares me. I don't know if it scares anybody out there. Um, but it kind of scares me because it's a very busy paper. It can be a very busy paper and I don't know where to cut it sometimes. So um, doing the, the last six Lucy's has really helped because Betty uh, works with Graphic 45 and all of our Lucy Paloozas and she is really great at explaining where to cut stuff and how to cut it and that has helped a lot so i'm not as scared anymore and then with this one out while i was working with this one it uh it's not so scary it's busy paper but you can make it not busy or children <laughs> yes cory crazy children Oh, cool, Sandy. Yeah, it's a good place to fussy cut. Because, you know, um, sometimes you just need to do something or have background noise or whatever. Like, my husband is constantly watching football especially this time of year and the playoffs and blah 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 and if I want to spend any time beside him that's what we're watching so I usually don't watch anything and that's when I do this fussy cutting I'll put some here and you can get as detailed or as not detailed in your fussy cutting as you want like you I could have like gone into those flowers there or the leaves and really fussy cut those out but like, nah, I'm not that into fussy cutting. <laughs> like I like, I'll fussy cut, but uh, not that crazy. Okay, where's this one go? Here by the cheetah. At first I had just um, fussy cut the animals and not the flowers. And when I put the animals on, it's like, oh, they look kind of weird just out because part of them are hidden behind the flowers, right? And I'm like, oh, they look kind of weird just above the flowers. So that's why I also did the flowers. I think my favorite animal on here is the little baby elephant. He's so cute. 
ice road truckers. Yeah, or like when there's no football, he'll watch like shows like, um, oh, what's that show? I don't know. Shows that are just like creepy and kind of scary and not, not my kind of show to watch. So I just, though, when he watches those, I'm not even downstairs. <laughs> He's on his own. I'll be up here having fun. Uh, like Tombstone or what's that one with the dragon queen? It's over now, but it was, it was on. I can't remember. Awesome, Lori. <laughs> okay, so I should have done the back next, but I'm going to do the back. Is that with your new little granddaughter or is that with, uh, so this, this page is pretty too. Nice. It looks like water and the beautiful flowers. So I'm just, I just cut this by seven and one eight by seven and one eight. Same as the front. Game of Thrones. Yes, Heather, that is what he watched was Game of Thrones. Um, no, he never watched Walking Dead. He couldn't get into that. But he watched Game of Thrones and he watched that biker one. Um, that one's not on anymore either. But <laughs> the one time I watched the biker one or sat with him while he was watching that, the one time I looked up, I saw them drive a nail into the top of someone's head. And I'm like, why do I look at the TV at these times? I always look when something gory is happening. <laughs> I just, uh, always. So that's why now I, j I just don't go and watch, sit there with him. Because you're always tempted to look when it's quiet, right? See what they're doing. Sons of Anarchy. Yes, thanks, Chantel. Uh, it's like, oh my gosh. Okay. So then for the sides, I cut, um, it's three quarters by, I think it's seven and one eighth. Oh, it's a little bit longer. Seven and three eighths. Why is it longer? Oh, it is longer. It's not perfectly square. I thought it was perfectly square. That's weird. Seven and an eighth. By seven and three eighths. Interesting. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to use this paper with the. I cut the. So now he's watching. What's that? Some Willow. It's called Willow. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't stand Sons of Anarchy. That's just like a nasty mean. <laughs> then Heather, you like those crazy, crazy kind of shows. Just like my husband. Crazy kind of shows. Okay, and then I just cut two little strips. And this again is from um, that same cut apart sheet that I showed you. And I'm just putting them alongside this one. So it's a little wider. So it's like two little strips like this. Okay. So it's a little wider. There. I like to watch shows like The Grinch or Happy Shows, like Bob Loves Abishola, or <laughs> that's a fun show. We we both watch those. Um, then I cut apart these little guys, so you can see there's these little cut aparts. So I have a couple of them, and I'm not going to pop them up because they're on the side of my. Um, Oh, yeah, the W network. That's that's my friend's Karina there is that's her favorite channel to watch. I like watching cooking shows like uh 
John Cacciucci and you gotta eat here or bucket list big bucket list is John Cacciucci okay so I did that and I put the zebra there then I'm going to do the same on this side and again I inked up my edges um, just to give them some so they're not so stark this side oh, push that over oh, shoot been watching a lot of Christmas shows I, I'm still watching them I love Christmas Christmas shows like elf and uh, Christmas with the cranks this one I just cut two little strips um, I'm gonna use the pop the it's a cheetah side of it I don't know So my husband is Ukrainian, so Ukrainian Christmas, uh, Ukrainian Christmas is on Saturday, um, right? Uh, what's today? Today's the 4th, 5th, 6th, yes, it's on Saturday. Um, so we keep all the decorations up and we uh, celebrate on the 7th as well. Like this, on the 6th, we'll have the traditional... Um, Ukrainian meal of 12 meatless dishes and uh, I don't think I don't know if we'll go to church or not because our daughter is here so but we'll we're gonna open our presents then and I cut out a couple more of these <clears throat> and it'll be fun so our decorations stay up until mid-January so I'm gonna put that there The morning show is that like a, a show show or is it uh oh animal charms for a dangle on the side that'd be a great idea hmm um <laughs> oh, kelly that's funny i know it's like we don't need it we don't need it and then as soon as you have it it's like okay everybody it's like what do you do when you don't have it anymore right when it goes down it's like freak out time okay let's get going on this one on the inside so the inside here has i don't know if you'll be able to see it or not no you won't be able to see it there's a magnet right here so so that um nothing gets caught when I'm sticking stuff inside the pocket, what I have done, so actually first I'm going to put this one on the inside. And this um, I cut to, no, <laughs> exactly, I never bored. I cut this one to seven by seven so it'll tuck into the pocket really easily. Now I could have um, saved paper and cut this little piece out, but I uh, really couldn't have been bothered with that. So I'm just going to <coughs> tuck that inside there. It's going to be tricky because the edge of the pocket is in there. And that magnet is in there. Come on. There we go. There we go. I'm glad I have my animals right side up. So when you are cutting this paper, make sure you watch which way your animals are facing because it's a very directional paper, that's for sure. Okay. Pierogies, yes, we'll have like um, we'll have like three different types of pierogies. We'll have the meatless cabbage rolls. We'll have some fish. 
Um, there'll be uh, three different types of fish, I think. Um, we'll have kucha, which is cooked wheat with, or cooked barley with um, honey and poppy seed. That's the first dish. And then there's borscht, um, which is the second dish. And then there's the other stuff. And then we have for dessert, there's um, a fruit mix, which we just buy fruit cocktail because <clears throat> I don't make the fruit mix like um, my mother-in-law does. So fruit cocktail works. <laughs> um, okay, so I cut this piece uh, to five by seven. And because I want to cover that that magnet so that stuff doesn't get caught on it. I have folded this over because I want this piece to cover over top of the magnet piece. And then of course I just cut a little bit off so that it will tuck in nicely. That makes sense. I hope that makes sense. But you want to cover that magnet because it otherwise it will catch your pictures will catch on it if you stick pictures in in there or um, your tickets, whatever. I'm just going to tuck that in there. Just tuck that on. Just like that. And you can see the bump here where the magnet is, but it's covered. So then when you stick stuff in there, it'll go in nice and easy. Here's a piece of paper. Easy peasy. Not like before it would get stuck on there. Okay. That's that page. All right. So this page, uh, this is a pocket, a top folding pocket that flips, flips back and forth. Um, and so I had a little bit extra piece of paper. So I'm going to put another flap because, you know, we can never have enough flaps for our Papers. Okay, come on out. Now I stuck everything down before with temporary adhesive so I could take my pictures. <laughs> and it all just wants to stick together. Okay. All right. That temporary adhesive is very, it holds very well. So this page, like look at that paper. Isn't that cool? Like look at that little baby elephant. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that little trick and I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm gonna like, that's a good little trick. Um, okay, so this piece I cut to eight by seven, eight by seven. Because the inside pages are a little smaller than the out one, outside ones. And I scored it at, I think that's half an inch. Oh, nope, that's an inch. I scored it at an inch. So, um, because I want to add it here as another flap. Okay? Like, look at that side. Like, that's giraffe print. That's so cool. And again, I sponged around everything. So, I'm going to put that on here first. Rather than, because before what I used to do is I used to put this on and then put this on and then you'd see this and it looks kind of ugly. So if I put it this on first and then this over top, it covers it and it just makes it all look like one, right? So it looks a lot better than um, the old way that I was doing it. And I don't know why I never thought of it before. Sometimes things just come to you and you're like, why didn't I do that before? It's so weird. Okay, so that's going to be my flip out. I'm going to have another flip out on the flip out. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, so on this side, I just um, fussy cut this one out of this paper. And I'm just going to... Um, attach it with pop dots to the bottom right corner here. Just to give it a little something on there. And then I'll put pictures or whatever on here that I want. Um, not sure what pictures or how many, but you can definitely make 
put however many you want on there. No problem. And then I'm going to flip this over. I don't know if I need that ink or not. And I cut another piece. Oh, this one. I forgot about this piece. Um, I cut little strips to cover the insides of the of the folio as well. They're about half an inch by seven so that because that looks kind of bare, right? So if I put this on and I put the um, giraffe print side up, then that looks better. Well, thanks, Yvonne. So then this piece I cut to three by seven. And I'm going to make a pocket on my flip out page. Okay. So I punch this notch, this whole notch thing. I see I need to do this with uh, a circle punch. And where is my. Oh, I didn't have that ready. Um, I forgot to sponge this one around the edges. Now you can see how I'm doing it. Now you could do this with the brush or you can do it with a finger dauber. Depend, all depends on how much brown you want around, around the edges. And then of course don't forget that inside piece. There you go. I'm going to take off my temporary adhesive. You just go like that, rub it off, and it rubs right off. There we go. And the temporary adhesive, it looks like this. Um, it's called Easy Dots Temporary Adhesive. And it comes in that green thing, and you can get refillable refills too. I love it for when I'm doing stuff like this and I'm not sure where I want to put anything um, or if I want to put my picture mats down but not pictures but I want people to know that it's a picture I'll put those down with that so there's that so then now I have a pocket um, there <clears throat> where's my other page okay <laughs> These really stuck. Oh my goodness. Stick my um my pop dots came off here. Oops. Okay. So then I cut this one out. This I'm gonna put it on this side. I cut this one out and what I did was I put it down and I just kind of traced along here with pencil um, so actually I didn't do it that way I did it this way I put my paper down traced along with pencil and then I just cut it out with uh, with scissors rather than um, then a circle punch and this one I'm just going to attach right to the page over top of this so you don't see that seam and it will be and because this paper is so patterned it will look like it's just all one oh, I forgot to take off this guy all one um, see that and you don't even see where I added this page on like that's awesome okay so then again I cut this from the cut aparts just add that to the bottom. So the cut apart page is really what my decorations are. Decoration, my ephemera. I cut it in uh, to be my ephemera. Okay. Now this guy, what I'm going to do with this guy, take this. And if you want to, you can as well when you get your kit. I'm going to put a little, I'm going to put him here. Actually, I think I had this over top. But I'm going to just put it 
close it here and here, put glue here and here. So then it can be a corner pocket. So then again, or if you don't want to do that, that's okay too. So then this way, you have like a corner pocket there if you want. Oops. <laughs> Sticking to the temporary adhesive I have all over. And then again, um, there was a bunch of little, little cut aparts. I'm just going to attach them with pop dots. I've got three of them. Born to be wild, a zebra, and uh, rhinoceroses. No hippopotamuses yet, Karina. And look, there's a baby rhinoceros. So cute. So I'm just going to put them up here in the corner. Just to give it some decoration. There. There. I like that. Okay. Okay, this page now. This page is super simple. Oh, my chair is super squeaky. So all I did, I did the exact same thing. I used the blue and there's the flowers. Um, I was torn, but I wanted the blue to give some. So again, I just put it like this, traced and cut it out with my scissors. It is a nice album. Yeah, Judy, that temporary adhesive is awesome, isn't it? It's just, I don't know. I've never used it before I started working at Unique or doing things at Unique and I'm like, where has this been all my crafty life? <laughs> it's great for scrapbooking too if you're doing layouts and you want to lay stuff down, but not permanently yet, to see if that's where exactly where you want it to go. Okay. And as you can see, like, look how easy it is. It like really held my stuff down so I could take my pictures and show the video. Cause I did do a video with showing everybody this kit. It holds it really well. So I just, again, just took some strips from the cut aparts. Oops. And just says wild and free and then the brown fancy strips. I think I maybe cut up two of the cut apart sheets for stuff for, oh, I was going to, hmm. yeah. All right. There, that's that one. Simple. And again, I cut a half inch piece of this paper to go in the middle here so that it doesn't look all wonky. There we go. Okay, now it's waterfall time. Waterfall. Now, for these for sure, you need to definitely watch which way you are cutting your paper your animals because um and your plants the plants well some of the plants don't matter but um because this goes this way and then th this one is up and down that way it's like oh that's a good idea carolyn gift cards to use the gift use the temporaries on your gift card holders that's good as well okay rather than a glue dot direct your um, so this lovely piece here, I wanted to cover it because I'm like, I'm not going to leave it like that. So what sides did I use? Oh my gosh. I don't even know what side I used. I think this one and this one. So I know it was this one. So all I did was I... Cut this piece. It's like an inch and 
an eighth by, I think that's, how long is that? Four and a half. And then I just put it along here again and I just trace around it and cut around, fussy cut around it. It doesn't have to be pretty because we're going to cover it. So it's just to basically, you wouldn't even have to fussy cut it if you didn't want to because we're covering it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then I did one for the other side too. And you can see, ah, if you, if I showed you, the magnet is like a big thick square. So that's why you want to make sure you cover, kind of cover it over in the other side there that I showed you so that doesn't, stuff doesn't get caught. So then I took a couple of the cut aparts. I took one of two of the drafts and I'm going to put them on on here. Oh, I suppose I put that one down too far. I'm just going to snip that off. Yeah, I put it down too far so it won't fold up. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, so I'm going to put one here and then I'm going to take this one and put it here, but I'm going to put it like you think it's going to be upside down. Well, it's going to be upside down when it goes up this way, but when it comes down and you look at it, it's going to be right side up. I hope that made sense. Um, so I'm just going to put a little glue here and then depending how far you want it down, that, whoops, be good. And then I'm going to put some glue and I'm going to attach these guys. Now, because that magnet's there, it's going to be fussy. But we will just hold it so it's no longer fussy. It's like a, oh, a pocket, pizza pocket. <laughs> Put your filling inside, a pie pocket. And it still clicks so well. Like, it's awesome. Okay, let's get putting our pieces on here. Before I bore you guys to death. Um, just And these are cut. Let me measure it after I get it on there. Now that I stuck the glue on there. And this one. Hmm. Because I had 8x8 eight eight paper, I cut them... Well, there's six and a quarter, six and an eighth by four. Six, no, six and a quarter by four. So, um, a little, tr you have, like it uses a, a fair amount of paper um, because it, of the cut, but like that print is cool. There's the cheetah that we used on the other pages, those little guys I cut out. I'm just gonna cover the magnet. You don't see it. Nope, oh, you're not even seeing what I'm doing. And I flip it up, there we go. Thanks, and there's the, the green one was hard for me to use because it's so green, like it's, um. The little guys are green, green. So what I also did was I cut half inch strips of paper from my leftovers. Like I, I cut out all my paper first and then I cut my strips from my leftovers and I'm going to put them in here so that it doesn't look so bland in there either. And they're half inch by, I think, Six and a half, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, because they're a little bit longer than 
what I did for these pieces. So this leaf one, see it doesn't really matter which way this one goes. Grab another one of these. So there, okay. So I don't know if Heather has told you guys, I think she told everybody on Sunday and I hope I can tell everybody and I hope Heather doesn't mind <laughs> on not this Saturday, but next Saturday we are um, going to have our demos uh, folios for sale or and layouts. So um, anything that we had kits for that we no longer have kits for and we had a sample, the sample sale, that's what it's called. Not a demo sale, it's a sample sale of folios and layouts and all kinds of whatever, whatever we bring. Um, so it's not this Saturday, that'll be next Saturday. So there'll be, it'll be set up. I'll be there all Saturday. If anybody wants to come see me, I'll be there. Um, selling my stuff <laughs> and helping Heather sell hers while she works the store. And uh, yeah, so come on out and you can buy these ready-made folios and layouts. And uh, all you need to do is pop your pictures in. So they whoops, I put this on before I even put my picture on. So that's um Oh, Sandy, come back to the store for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's I wish I was closer too, but um we will be there Saturday. I'll I'll be there all day 10 to 5. Um Selling, selling, selling. Should be a good day. Wow, I should have had the other one done already for you guys. You're gonna watch me do this? Be boring. Oh, and I put the wrong side on. Ah! Oh well. <laughs> I didn't want to put this side on because it's all the cut aparts and they're not really cut evenly. Oh, panel. The heck. Oh well, what are you going to do? That's what happens when you talk and do stuff at the same time. Even though I'm basically talking to myself, I am talking to you guys, but <laughs> it's like I'm in this room by myself. There's no one to watch me make a mistake, except you guys on the TV. Uh, not this Saturday, Lori, next Saturday. So what's that? The This Saturday is the 7th. So is that the 14th? Oh, I should have put the elephants on. I don't think I remembered which way I had everything laying down here. That's okay. I hope... The weather is nice that day. Even if it's raining, that's okay. I won't mind the rain, but better not be no snowstorm. Or I won't be there. <laughs> I'm driving a snowstorm. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, I, f oh, I did it again. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so this piece is actually... The cardboard piece for the um, paper pack. So I also use this. So um, 14. Thanks, Carolyn. So I also use this piece because I didn't have quite enough papers. Um, but that's okay. Use it. Use as much as you can. There we go. There we go. There's that. That waterfall. And it 
the magnet holds it lovely. So then I'm going to put this piece over here. Now, if you're not able to make it to the store and you live in Ontario, well, I know you, and I know you personally, <laughs> and you remember a, a kit I made, you can always send me a message and say, hey, are you selling this kit, this sample kit, and I'll let you know if I'm selling it. Okay, so I don't know if I'll make you guys watch me put this together. Right, Kelly? It is not hard to do that shopping on the online store. Um, so again, I did the same thing. I traced this out, which you really wouldn't have to do too much. Um, let me just pull this over. Too much, make it look too pretty because you're covering it anyway. So I'll show you this. I'll do this and then I'll do the back and then I won't show you how I make that waterfall unless you want to watch me attach the waterfall pieces and screw up again. <laughs> then I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, okay, so I didn't really attach it too much here because um, I cut out this uh, Wild and Free and the Cheetah again. And I'm going to put them on. So you need guys that go this way. Whereas over here, I needed guys that go up and down. Oh, that's good, Lori. <laughs> I think you have two. And I appreciate that. That's, that means a lot to me. Okay, I'm going to put that on. Put that on. my cheetah on but I do have a lot of layouts that um, I'm going to be selling especially um, from Lucy because I'd make a make a set and then I would make a set showing you how to make it so <laughs> especially when you're there every Monday Linda right even though you're going to just see the people that are working there. <laughs> so there's that one. Cute little elephant. Oh, I don't know if he's going to... I should have used tape maybe. I might have to go back in and put tape on. To make sure they stick. So these ones, like I said, you really need to make sure you're cutting the right way. So you're going to cut this way first. On your cut your paper that way first so it's six and an eighth by four and then uh, cut your four but you should be able to get at least two sheets two um, of these out of each sheet if that makes sense see that okay All right, okay, so let's keep going here. I'll keep going and we're almost done. I think I have the waterfall and then one last page and then we're done. See, I didn't want to put this side on. I want to put that side on. <laughs> Just cover that magnet up. <clears throat> no, it seems to be running almost a little too close to the edge. I should have also had um, tape on that one. So again, I cut uh, strips of paper, um, half inch to put in between here. And again, you just want to make sure you know which way your animals are going. If you're putting your animals on, um, just so they're not looking like they're crooked or on laying on their backs or whatever. <laughs> Now, this one didn't really matter so much because I was just using the water print side. Now, if you if you want to, 
if you're using a bigger now if you're using the kit you'll need to cut it exactly like mine but um, if you're using bigger paper because I think this comes in 12 by 12 as well you can cut definitely cut these wider so then you don't have so much as much brown or um, you can cut little strips and put them up here so you don't have so much brown. Just an idea um, for you. If you're using the 8x8, you can cut little strips and put them um, so there's not so much brown. If you want, or if you like the brown, then that's okay. I don't mind the brown on this one because it, it mats around really nice on all of them. So it's good. this print in there. I really like that giraffe print. It's kind of cool. Well, there's a hippopotamus. Hey, Karina, there's a hippopotamus. <laughs> no baby one, though. That's not cool. I like the babies. There's a little baby elephants again. They're so cute. Mm -hmm. Why well, I put oh I think I'm gonna go put this one here. That's like too many greens in a row there. Holy moly. I'll put the monkeys over here. So I've been fortunate enough to have the last two weeks off from work. And I really don't want to go back again yet. I'm not ready to go back on Monday or Tuesday. I kind of liked being off. Because I could get all this craft stuff done. Like, I am, like, already ready for my February projects, ladies. <laughs> That's how ahead I am. It's just awesome. And the February projects, oh, my God. Like, I thought my January projects were awesome. February is even awesomer. If that's a word. Awesomer. Hmm, I think I'll throw the blue in there. This one. Hi, Sandra. <laughs> I'm on fire. Yes, I was on fire. I couldn't believe it. I picked up my project stuff last Wednesday and I got everything done by yesterday. Or maybe even the day before. I was just like... Creating, creating, creating. And I even did some fun stuff for myself in my holidays. So that was cool. Did a couple folios. Um, one with a Frank Garcia. Um, oh no, I don't know if it's Frank Garcia, but it's uh, the strawberry, strawberry milkshake paper. I, I used, um, I did a little little folio with that and I did one with the graphic the graphic with the 49 and market countryside paper oh my god I love that paper so much oh, I bought it I bought everything in that line and I used all the paper except for a couple sheets I still have lots of ephemera and whatnot, so I could do some journal pages with it. So yeah, I had a great, great holiday crafting. Crafty time. Yes, it is. Thanks, uh, Karina. It is a good feeling. The only thing I haven't prepped for is my journal nights. <laughs> Uh, I, I really like winging my journal nights, but I have an idea what I want to do the next two journal nights, but um, I just need to get them underway. Because I think Dan and Heather need to know that stuff too. <laughs> what are you doing on your journal night? Uh, I don't know. 
some stuff. But I know on my one journal night, I'm going to use, I'm going to show how to use these crayons. Like these are the Distress watercolor pencils. Oh, they're going to be awesome. Okay, so there's the side waterfall. Depending where you put your paper, you might need to. I use a lot of green. Ew. It's so green, but that's okay. Green and green is okay. I think um, I stuck my papers in too far. That's why they're not fooling. I should have broken that up a little bit more, but oh well, that's okay. It's all good. There you go. Okay, so then this last page, super, super simple. I did a um, belly band on this page. So again, I cut my paper, I believe it's, what is that? Seven and an eighth by seven and a half. And then I cut a strip of paper eight inches by one and three quarters, but you could cut it however big you want, however wide you want it. And then I just scored at half, not a half inch, quarter of an inch. Yep. On each end. And then I'm going to flip because this is the side I want. I'm going to flip that over. See, that's the other side of this side, front page. I'm going to add some tape. Add some tape. And I'm going to also add some glue just to give it a little bit of extra stability because it's not a very big, I should have cut, if I, if I could have, I would have cut these a little bit longer, but because it's eight, I just want to make sure I got this right. Yep. Okay, so then I'm just going to put that on here right in the middle. And then just fold that over, fold that over. Okay. And then I'm going to attach this. Now, you're probably saying, you don't have that going the right way. That's okay. I'm not using this side and this side is an animal print so it doesn't really matter which way it goes. It's all good. But my monkeys are going the right way so that's good. So now you can tuck things in here, right? You can tuck pictures in there or um, little notes about what you did at your safari. So there you go. That is the folio for the safari. How do, how do I fold it now? <laughs> okay, this should fold over. Why is it not folding over? What did I do wrong? Oh, because of this paper. I'm just going to score it here. Oh. I put this paper over too far strip I put it over too far so it's not bending properly there we go there we go okay stay I swear it stays I'll get it fixed but anyway there we go <laughs> yay <laughs> so that's the folio and you're left with like barely any paper like a little bit of paper you could like make like cut this out and make another pocket page with the corner pocket that I showed you um, you could like take this and put a picture on it and tuck that into your belly band. There's not a lot left. And you, there are some um, other things that like you can cut more of these out if you wanted to cut more of those out and put them on your, on your um, pages. But I didn't want to do too many because I wasn't sure where my pictures were going to go. So I just... Uh, 
once I get the pictures on, then maybe I'll know where I want to put more stuff. All right, you guys. So if you're totally interested in that kit, there are a few left in the store. Um, Heather did uh, pin it, pin the link, but I will also pin the link in my in my um, post so that you can uh, have quick access to it. Or if you want quick access to it, just search by my name and uh, you'll find everything that I've created uh, under my name. So thank you uh, for tuning in. That was a little, it was a little longer than an hour, but that's okay. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Um, thanks for your comments and support. And hopefully I'll see you guys next Saturday. So until next time, happy crafting everyone.